Hey, good evening, Cappy. How you doing? Hey, Capricorns. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Ruth. Hope y'all doing fine. As y'all see from the topic, what it's about, it's like, you know, people offering you an empty cup. What can, what can you do with that? What the fuck? You know, ain't nobody got time for that. You know, it's all sex and, and, and trying to steal your money or coin artists or whatever you're trying to do. Don't you know these days right here you can't do that? Karma is a B-I-T-C-H. I mean, and it ain't playing no games. You might end it with your life. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got somebody good. You married or you living with somebody, you know? And that person is treating you right. And here you come trying to go back to somebody old or new. I mean, hurting people. You're hurting people. Now, if y'all got that arrangement, you know, and y'all can both mess around, then that's a different thing. And then they're not even considering the kids. Okay? You put more generational curses on your children. Do people know this? You know, I, I, you know, I share a lot of this stuff, but I'm going to share this right here. What I've already shared before about my husband messing with my kids, okay, and my son in particular, and now he's in a mental institution, and they telling me that he can't, he's been touching women inappropriately. You see what that generational did, Cursor did, and you know the last thing he asked me, where my dad at? He was supposed to have been calling my son. I mean, it's like you haven't apologized. I moved away. And didn't call during that time. CPS was so horribly horrible that I didn't want them to separate my kids. So I just left the whole thing and been gone 22 years before I killed him. Because I was going to kill him. Okay. But just to have him never apologize, never admit what he did. You know what I'm saying? And now my son got to suffer for that. You know, and I hope he come, I, I, I pray that he come into his own mind and realize that's not his sin that he's doing. That's his father's sin, that that's not him. Because he was always gentle and sweet and wanted to help. People took advantage of that. So now he's kind of all to himself. And I want him to understand things. But anyway, my point is, watch what y'all do, please. I mean, it's, and then the things going on in the world. Come on, y'all. We don't know what these people finna try. And you think fucking a lot is gonna help? D hurting more people is gonna help? You know, corning people out of their money and all this stuff is gonna help? You know what I'm saying? Shit, corn the damn people who fucking over us right now. Learn how to steal from they damn ass. You know, learn how to get over from that. Learn mafia. Learn how to be a good pe I don't know. But the bullshit people be doing is just is just tripping me out. You know, you're not teaching your kids. You're not there for them. You're not preparing them for what's going to happen, how to take care of you, first aid kids, CP. I just made a, a video about all of that. What are you teaching your kids? You know, so worried about yourself. If something happened or we get separated, what? Are, how, do, how do you want your kids to be act, act and prepare for that? In school, when they come around trying to give them stuff, when, when they in school, they have tried it many times, okay? Shots, um, and make them do different other things in school, okay? What are you going to tell them about that? Oh, you need to be, I really need, you really need to be raising your kids at home. Stop striving for material stuff because that shit don't mean nothing no more. If you ain't got true love, unconditional love, a good family unit, then you don't have shit. That material shit don't mean nothing. But I'm just saying, I'm rant, I'm rambling. But uh, I'm just serious. Karma is that negative karma. It ain't nothing to play with. Sweet talking, bullying people. You know what I'm saying? Hurting people. Come on. That's why the world and the world in the shape it is right now because of that. Protect yourself from lower entities. That's all I'm trying to say. It's just like I don't understand, Cappy. I don't get it. So let's see what they want to tell you for this week. The rest of this week, anyway. My thing downloaded so slow yesterday till I couldn't even finish the rest, you know, yours and the other ones. So, sorry about that. Educate your mind. Please, fast this week. Find ways to get rid of bad habits and bring good ones. Boom. Thoughts. Just talking about that. 
because that lingers on. Eating right, thinking right, change your whole mindset. You don't have to think and do what your ancestors did that were lost. You got some good ancestors. I talk to them all the time. How are we getting, okay, y'all been through this. They took our memory, what we need to know, what we need to do. Getting downloads from them. You know what I'm saying? Hanging around the right people. Ears to hear, cleaning to hear good. Okay, clean your ears out. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, listen to people who are wise. Maybe you're doing the same thing. Not every cap, don't get me wrong. Every cap is doing is on point. But I'm just talking, okay? Hear people, hear your kids. I mean, I was looking at Robocop 3. How that little girl dismantled the robot and made, uh, I mean, made the, the robot be good. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to make them scientists at home. Not for the, not for the world like they've been doing because they're kidnapping them and controlling them. Privately teaching our kids how to do all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go outside and enjoy Mother Nature for grounding. And they trying to start destroy Mother Nature. I was just apologizing again this morning about all the concrete and, and tearing down the trees for the houses. They didn't use that back in the day. They used clay. You know what I'm saying? They didn't use uh trees and all that kind of stuff. They respected Mother Nature. You know? So if you need grounding, go and hug a tree, go out of nature. You know, it's your earth sign, so you probably outside anyway. Yeah, just some thoughts, yeah. It's just it's just sad to me <laughs> how people were about the dumbest thing. <clears throat> we look terrible, y'all. Past, present, future. I don't know. Just hurt people, hurting, hurting, hurting. Just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And expect people to just go along with you with that. That's so sad. Not considering somebody else's feelings. Past, present future. Let's see. Yeah. Five of Swords, First Deacon Aquarius, Venus. Losses, all is not lost as you still have three swords remaining, giving you the upper hand. Take what you might have to take what you got and keep keep it moving. You know, don't worry about the past. He looking back. What you looking back for? You know, evidently you defeated or they gave up. Gonna have people in your in your face get giving up, getting a shot. I mean, do, I'm I'm just talking, doing uh, uh uh doing what the system want them to do. Are you gonna follow? Are you programmed already? Okay. Are you gonna give in to this person or people trying to keep you in that state of mind of weakness, low vibrational? You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do? Let's read first Deacon Aquarius and see what it says. You know? A lot of things we gotta consider right now. Uh where is it? Da, 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 da. Okay, first deacon aquarius. First deacon aquarius is the Aquarius Deacon ruled by Uranus. And these people are real individualists and nonconformists. They are progressive minded. Socially humanitarians, though they often have only a small circle of friends, they are always thinking of new plans and ideas, and their minds are rarely still. Their overthinking can lead to anxiety if they don't get some solid, solitary downtime. So make sure you relax. Make sure you can think better, because Uranus and, and you know, Aquarius, you, you're very brilliant-minded, Okay. You don't need but a small circle of friends. Get together and educate each other, family. What what is the plan if they give us with some old weather like they did before? They they oh, close the stores. Uh, are you have a little circle where you at where y'all can share? Can y'all get to each other to make sure everybody's families is going to be okay and maybe have some left over to help others? What what are you doing? What's the plan? You know what I'm saying? Okay, this one is uh. Two of Swords, <clears throat> peace and harmony needed to take the blindfold off, keeping reassessing the situation at hand. First Deacon Libra, Moon. So, it was upside down. You don't have any, yeah, they're going to take out peace and harmony. You better make sure you keep yours, wherever you at, okay? And this person trying to come in, or, I say they ain't real. 
empty cedars. I don't know what they are because if they're not focusing on what was going on today and all of their desires, something ain't right. They really program. They need to get a machine and find out where all them program at in their body. You know, nano robots or whatever it may be. So you need to take the blindfolds off. You need your peace and your harmony because the world ain't finna give it to you. So how are you going to give it to yourself? You got to figure that one out. First Deacon Libra. Let's see what it's saying. First Deacon Libra is ruled by Venus and is the Libra Deacon. These people are lovers of beauty, pleasure, and others. They love harmony, peace, and for a life to be smooth and lovely. They are happiest when in relationship, and yet the shadow of Libra is that they can become argumentative at times and will sometimes argue just for the sake of it. They also have a keen sense of what works in business and a balanced first deacon will utilize that and create a healthy work-life balance. When they are as, as balanced as they can be, they tend to live in a place that is peaceful and beautiful, both outward and inward. So materialistic, you got to put that to the side. You got to get your, realize peace, harmony, all of that comes first. Preparedness, all of that comes first, okay? Just like I was talking about, all that arguing, fussing, making each other, going back and forth, making each other feel bad, you know, up in one another, think you're getting over on people. Man, them days need to be over with because that's a, that's a, it's a mirroring effect going on. What you put out is what you get back two or threefold. You know what I'm saying? So preparedness, preparing what's going on, work at, you know, get it organized. Let's see what the last thing is. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Earth. Money coming, divine wish being granted. So make sure this person ain't offering you some money to keep you stuck. Okay, we got to watch the government. We got to be aware of all of this stuff going on. It's the Earth sign. Oh, this could be you doing these things, Cappy. But money coming in, you ain't got to worry about it. The divine got it, got you. They're going to make sure, but you got to prepare. You got to be in that mindset to receive, you know. You got to can't be in a fear mindset when things happen that you worried about, was so worried about what's going on that you're not prepared way ahead of time. We don't know exactly what I'm going to try to do, but we can always research back in history and see what happened each time the golden age, the golden era, the age of Aquarius happened, and then put it with the other ages, you know, and then prepare as much as you can. Battery operator stuff. Stuff that, that people didn't use battery operated. How did they live before that time? I mean, so many things we could do. You know what I'm saying? To get things on track. You know, we already know the paper money is going to be gone. So it's going to be coins. You know? Are we going to trade with each other? You know? It's, it's just, you know, making a garden. Make, getting the plants in your house that's edible and healing. You know, so many things we should be thinking about right now. I'm not worried about fucking over somebody. And getting over people instead of hurting yourself and your kids. Big ego. All about them. See what I'm saying? Stingy. Who got time for this? Everything. That's why the world in the, in the shape is in now for people like this. You know? Hope don't let you. Don't trust. Disrespectful. We can't trust them. Okay? But you ain't got to be disrespectful during these times. Because like I said, it's a boomerang effect. Find your circle that you can trust. A pimp spying on you. Who got time for all that? You know, like I said, you better pimp, be pimping these folks and figuring out what this big uh, elite and all the rest of them that's controlling stuff, how they pimping us, been pimping us for years, spying on us. Now it's our turn. You know what I'm saying? It's our turn to do this. What they doing. So we can help be up on that. Figure that one out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's, it's just, I don't know. To me, it's not time for all that bullshit. Whoever you got and you know that person good in your circle, fuck the shit out of them. You know, a heal their body. You know you ain't supposed to be fucking all the time anyway, messing up your body and stuff. Your stuff not as good as they stuff, whatever. But their stuff, everybody's stuff get messed up. So, but it's ways to repair it. You know? Fast. Do the mind sex. Intellect, I mean, I don't know. Are you a deceptive person? You know, check yourself. Okay? 
I'm loyal, honest, and caring. Okay, hello. I'm not waiting. Okay. I'm fabulous. Yes, you are. I'm funny, fun, friendly, and loving. So you missed out. Hello. Having that person coming back in your life. Uh, you missed it, boo-boo. I can't trust you now. You know? Too many games being played. Then they got the nerve to come back with the same game like you retarded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you don't see shit they ass doing. It's like, really? Really? Is you really coming back me with like that? For real, for real. Oh, people be tripping me out. Oh, shit. Oh. Are you living life? Or is life living you? Okay. Hello. Do you feel abandoned? Why? Do your kids feel safe and secure? People think it's still about them. It's about them kids. Kids is the future. Do you love, do your loved ones know your favorite color? Do y'all know anything about each other? Is that really your loved one or you just was with them because of to get you up to the next level? I mean, I'm an opportunist in so far as, as well. I want somebody that's going somewhere that's trying to do something that's not stuck. You know, and I know y'all that type of people too. But don't be stepping over people and hurting them to get to the top. Bring them with you. Let them find out what they like to do. You know? Don't do not do that because that's going to make you fall every time. Can you start over? Are you stuck? Comfort zone? Accepting misery? Okay. Everybody can start over. You know, I listen to Jeff Brosrose. He's a Ver, uh, Capricorn. How he wouldn't pay his employees. How you not pay for people who the company that your ass started, but you worried about going to the Mars or wherever and hope a whole new city. That would have made them want to be more going to that city with you if you would have paid them like you're supposed to. You know? So don't don't get all greedy and, and want everything for you and want to be a tyrant. Because that's going to blow up in your face. Now they had him leave his own company that he invented. Come on now, y'all. Okay? Third chakra, solar plexus, oneness, and unity. I accept the oneness of all life, and I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to emphasize and sympathize with others, and I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as part of my own life, and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differ differences as this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. Hello. Okay. All right, Cappy, this is what I have. This is my dilemma today. I hope it helps in some type of way or resonated with you. You know, if not, uh, maybe somebody you know. Okay, this girl Ruth signing off. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. All right, love y'all. Bye.